The Korean government laid out plans to tackle the country's household debt, currently at a staggering $950 billion. The key point of the measures is that the government will make it easier for debtors to repay their loans. But for some, it might not be enough. Our Shin Se-min has the story. The Korean government and related authorities have unveiled a set of ambitious measures to help contain household debt while promising to maintain policies that will bolster economic growth. While bank loans have helped spur the housing market, the new measures will ensure household debt does not drag down the economy. The measures involve tightening the screening process for borrowers and stepping up monitoring of second-tier banks that are subject to looser financial regulations. The Financial Services Commission also said it would restructure loans to encourage borrowers to pay back the principal and the interest rather than just the interest and drop the ratio of amortized loans to 45 percent of total bank lending by the end of 2017. Korea's overwhelming borrowing spree has been triggered by ease regulations on loans for real estate and the country's record low interest rate. But experts say the high debt levels do not yet represent an imminent threat. The top 40 percent in terms of income takes up nearly three quarters of the total liabilities in household debt, meaning they're more likely to be able to repay their debt. In other words, it's not a serious issue. But the bigger problem lies with borrowers in the lower income brackets. The new debt measures fail to address those that have already taken out loans and are struggling to make ends meet, an issue that needs to be addressed with an eye to the long term. Labor market reforms must accompany the household debt measures because improving people's ability to repay their debts can only be done by raising wages. Experts say that while the new debt plans are a step in the right direction, it's necessary to strengthen the lending and repayment system to ensure it is less vulnerable to risks from home and abroad, including the possibility of a rate hike in the U.S. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.